And now I want to talk about timidness and boldness. How can we help people to be more bold? Uh, that's something has to be trained. And it can start from easy steps. For instance, talking to the person next to you, God loves you, God cares about you. And then uh, activities in a church or small groups. And then um, start with things that are easier. For instance, if, uh, help, have them talk to each other and say, is there something I can pray for you now? And have time in the service or after the service that they can say, oh, please pray for my children. Please pray for this needs of mine. And then, and then the person can pray for the person. So this open up the way to communication that they learn from the easy way. Now, um, if we say this, it's more difficult for people to open up. If we say, do you have difficulties? That's more, it's harder to open up. But if we say, is there anything we can pray for you? I can pray for you. Then it's easier. So they get used to that. And then, and then you say, okay, which one of you, you have some, uh, just now you share something and then you pray for the person uh, and then you find that that's something, uh, uh, you're willing that we all pray for the person. Can you come up and let us know? And then we can pray for the person's need too. So that this kind of activities get them get used to coming up and sharing their prayer needs. And then any testimony, and if they're not bold enough to come out, have them talk to each other, okay? How has work, how has God done, what, uh, how has God blessed you in the last week, in the last month? Tell your neighbor in your seat, and then let them tell each other. And then, okay, which one of you have things you really want to share that will encourage the group, come out. So when they do that, keep doing that many times. And small group activities too, it's not just teaching, but let people respond, ask questions and respond. And then when people respond, we appreciate it. Thank you for saying it. Thank you for sharing. That way, it will encourage the people to be bold, that when they get used to it. And the way to ask questions is very key. How, how to ask questions, for instance, that is easier for people to say. Uh, just now when I said, instead of asking what are your difficulties, we can say, what can I pray for you? Uh, 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 is there something, uh, you know, I can pray for you? Is there something I can help you with? You know, so those are, to pray for is the easiest for Christians. And then, then do you need, do you like me to help you? Instead of saying, do you need me to help you? Do you like me to help you? And then, so that's one way we can help the members to open up to one another. That helps to build up relationship. Now, one church, there are different churches I went to that have very good atmosphere. One church groups in Hong Kong are the cell group church groups. Uh, they, they really very encouraging. For instance, now in my church before, uh, they, because they learned the cell group way, and then they, I see that happen. One time in one cell group, one person, uh, actually the group leader liked to encourage her to share, and she did come out to share, but when she stood up there, she could not say anything. Immediately the leader would walk to her side and then put his hand on her to encourage her, and then, and then uh, help her, and then she started to share. So this kind of atmosphere is very helpful. So I noticed that the cell group, cell group churches, uh, in Hong Kong has this kind of atmosphere. That's one, one uh, example I see. Another example I see is in a church in the Philippines. The church's name is very long, but it's very special. It's called the, the Warm Body of Christ Family. <laughs> the Warm Body of Christ Family. And this church is super, super warm. In each service, the pastor will say many times, and say something, you know, to encourage the people next to you, and then they, they will all be very warm. And, and when I come to the church, the, I've never been to a church like that. There, are, there were about 20, 30 people welcoming me, talking to me. I never went to a church like that. And so this church has this atmosphere. They're always saying things to each other, 
encouraging each other and the pastor is always encouraging other people and the pastor is also very self-giving and that church has mission work four times a month three times overseas uh, three times in the same country and one time overseas each month and when I look at the calendar I say wow this is a really giving church and this church was start in a slum area poor area and, and then the pastor teach them how to give and then these people give and then God bless them they all become richer people and then they can help the other poorer people and so I saw great blessings in this church and the people were very courageous very open 